I'm Allendale's Chief Meteorologist Ryan Martin with a look at your midday weather update. Surface analysis right now across the country shows our frontal boundary that's in the Appalachians and kind of moving back into areas just south of the Mason-Dixon line is not moving exceptionally fast. We've got scattered showers being reported from central and northern parts of Kentucky all the way back down through Alabama where there are some thunderstorms. In general, though, a good part of growing areas are rain-free. Lots of clouds over the eastern part of the Corn Belt, but we've seen sunshine back west. Saw some thunderstorms fire off earlier today into last night in just a very minute portion of the hard red winter wheat belt. That was a bit of a surprise to us, to be flat out honest with you, but that also means that as we go forward, we can't rule out a few more surprises. It looks like any thunderstorms that do want to fire off here in the short-term part of the forecast are going to be highly isolated. We still like a large part of the hard red winter wheat belt to be mostly dry through the rest of this week. Now, go farther north into Nebraska, South Dakota. There's a frontal boundary working with a warm front first and a cold front that sweeps through. Probably triggers a nice batch of thunderstorms across Nebraska and South Dakota as we head toward midweek. Later part of the week, we'll see if some of those want to sag southward into Kansas Thursday into Friday. It's not a really strong push to the south. At this point, I'd leave Oklahoma and Texas alone. Thunderstorms across Kansas, we're talking coverage about 30 to 40 percent is all. In the Corn Belt, we don't have a lot of moisture moving through this week. We'll see action start to work into the western and northern Corn Belt probably as we head toward the later stage of the week, uh, Thursday, Friday. And then it's going to be a long, slow, drawn-out process as the action pushes to the south and east. Probably doesn't impact the eastern Corn Belt till overnight Friday night into early Saturday. Rain totals look like they could be half to one inch in the upper Midwest, but as we get into the eastern Corn Belt, a few tenths of an inch to maybe a half maximum. Keep that track in mind, though, coming from Wisconsin, Minnesota, onto the southeast, because I think we do it again early next week, Sunday through Tuesday. Same track, slightly better rains. So we're going to be seeing most of the Corn Belt pick up some decent moisture over the course of the next 10 days, backloading most of it into the end of this week and next week early. After that, we'll keep an eye on a couple more fronts. Probably the next best one will be working through around the 12th, and we can't rule out another one around the 15th. Those fronts don't look exceptional. Coverage probably 50 to 60%, but it is moisture, and I think you have to lump this pattern in with one that says timely moisture across a large part of the growing areas for corn and soybeans. Temperatures, those are getting a little bit of attention this morning. The cool temperatures uh, back in the Dakotas and Northern Plains and especially into Canada over the weekend uh, caught some people's attention. Through the next day or two, we're going to slowly work our way back closer to normal sunshine's going to help a lot but i still don't see any major heat coming over the next 10 days to two weeks really looks to me like temperatures are going to be normal to slightly below if you average everything out over the next to two weeks combined we'll have to watch and see if that pattern continues but that's what models are saying right now looking at other major issues not a whole lot to talk about today is the start of hurricane season so we'll start taking a little bit more regular look at the tropics uh, patterns early on this time of year usually favor golf developments and things like that, but there's nothing that we can really stake our hat on right now. And we're also going to be seeing temperatures uh, trying to build. Normals gain about 3 to 5 degrees through the month of June, and today is the first day of meteorological summer. That's the way things are stacking up. If you've got any questions on the weather, give us a call at Allendale. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ryan Martin.